everyone welcome back to Rosetta Vera as Danielle um, similar to what I did last month I'm just doing a monthly haul instead of doing these one-off hauls um, so I have a bunch of things from Daiso um, Artbox um, Amazon and, and, and some other places like those are off the top of my head I'm still waiting for some things um, so I'm gonna film this in pieces again just so I can keep track of things and put things away um, so I'm gonna start with some one-offs um, so the first thing here is not very exciting it's just 70% um, alcohol um, I believe I put this from Dollar Junction um, I picked this up a while ago it's been sitting in my living room I'm only hauling it so I can remind myself that I have and I also remind you that you need to pick up some alcohol. Um, so um, as you saw it was two dollars for this bottle. I remember when these used to be like less than a dollar. Um, but it's good to have a backup of alcohol. You never know when you need it not just for arts and crafts but just for medical needs too. So that's that. Um, then also I was um, in jerry's art outlet or artorama i think where depending on where you live is what it's called and i was there because my daughter had to get art supplies for school but i said let me grab something because you know i can't go in the art store and not buy anything so i picked up this pearl air hardening modeling clay because i think the only air clay i have is crayola so i said let me pick up a brick of this um to play with um and then after I bought it, I was like, I, I need some other things to go with it. So um, we'll get into what I bought to kind of help me play with this. But that was what I got from um, Jerry's. So the next couple of some things all come from Daiso. Um, Daiso isn't everywhere. So let me tell you what Daiso is. Daiso is like Japan's version of a dollar store. And I had heard of Daiso. I think like a lot of people on the West Coast have Daiso and it's starting to kind of expand East Coast. So there is a market um, about 40 minutes away from me that has a Daiso, a Kinu, Kini, a Kinu Kiniwa, which is a Japanese bookstore. I usually go to the one in Manhattan. And I was going to take my daughter there this week, but then I did a search and found out it was a Daiso a little closer to us um, in Little Ferry and also at H Mart. Um, so we took a trip there and um, I'll just say you need to have a plan because I picked up a lot of things from Daiso. Um, so let me start with the things that my daughter bought and gave to me first. So, um, so she saw this pack of 10 tissues from um with the Sumiko Garashi um comic on it so she picked it up and gave me five of the tissue packs um I like to have tissue packs in my bag partly because of allergies um and these are like convenient to carry I mean if you were born in the 70s your mom probably had this in her purse but it was, but it was from Kleenex um so they're little cute packs of tissues I think it was two fifty for ten of them, so my daughter bought the ten pack and gave me five. Next up is a mystery box of Rilakkuma. I've mentioned plenty of times that I love Pusheen. I love Rilakkuma as much as I love Pusheen, but it can be hard to find for me. Um, so she bought up this little she bought this little mystery box for me. I think it was three fifty. Um, it's supposed to be like a little plush keychain. Um, I'm like, do I want to open it right now? I guess I'll open it right now. You guys can see what it looks like. Um, so I think I have two Rilakomas and I have like some random things with this character. Um, but this store actually had a lot of Rilakuma items. So you see he's in a kitty cat um, costume because we look as a little brown bear um, and it's just a little keychain thing. So um, that's cute. 
it's bigger than I thought it would be. All right, so that's what my daughter got me from Daiso. And now moving on to the stuff that I bought myself. Um, staying with that Rila Kuma theme. Um, we have some disinfecting wipes. These have 75% alcohol in it and it's fresh lemon. These were $1.25. So I'm going to keep these in my desk because um, sometimes when I'm working on things, my hands get a little sticky. So I usually just spray them with alcohol, but I figured it'd be nice to have the wipes near my desk. Um, then I got this Rila Kuma hand sanitizer. Again, this is $1.75. Um, I'm going to keep this little thing in my my um, book bag that I carry to work. Um, and I think you could put the little, what is it, Bed, Bath, and Body Works hand sanitizers in here. I think they're about the same size. Um, so you could just replace it when you need to. So that's that. Um, and then I got this little um, squishy keychain from Rila Kuma Bakery. Um, if I remember correctly, I think this was either $250 or $350. Um, one of the things when you go to Daiso, not everything has a price on it. Um, so if it doesn't have a price, you assume that it's $1.99. And then some of them have prices like... Um, this one does which is 220 yen and they have signs on the wall to help you with the um, conversion to US dollars um, I should have taken a picture of it and I didn't um, but that helps you when you're shopping it does mean you have to be a little intentional because you have to kind of pay attention to what has prices and what doesn't because um, not everything is a dollar 99 but things are pretty cheap in there so I think I think that's everything that's Rila Kuma related. So let me get to the other items. So the first thing I picked up is this palette for watercolors. I was talking to my daughter about needing one. And like I said, these are $1.99 because they don't have a price on them. It's pretty thick plastic. So, oops, okay, I noticed something's up. So it opens up like that. Um, and I was saying that I needed one because the one that came with my Artistro art set, on um, watercolor set, I couldn't find it. Um, so I said, let me pick up another one and I like the size of this. So that's that. Um, next, I picked up these little dishes. They were $1.99 each. Um, I like cherry blossoms, and it was like, I was looking at them, and then I was like, I'm not going to get them today. And then I was like, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to see them again, if I ever go to Daiso again, because it was, it was a little bit of a trip to get there. I shouldn't say it was a bit of a trip. It was an expensive Uber ride. Um, so I don't see myself going to Daiso every every month it might be a couple of months here and there I go um so I didn't want to take a chance that I wouldn't find these again um oops. I also picked up this little bunny bank um I don't carry much cash I'm usually you know a, a ATM debit card person but um I, lately, I've been having a lot of change and nowhere to put it, so I decided just to get this little bank. It was $1.99, and it'll sit in my bedroom because it matches the colors of my bedroom. Um, I'm trying to see. Let me do all the random stuff before I get to art-related stuff. Um, next, I found these little plastic vases they're like folded and you like unfold them and they look like a little vase like this i don't know how well you can see that and you put water and flowers in them and again it was a dollar 99 and sometimes i need a little vase for like a little bud vase and i thought like i mean they'd be nice to have around and since they're foldable i can put them away and they're out of the way 
All right, I think everything else is art related. Maybe one other thing here. Um, I picked up these Coro Coro Corona uh, magnets to go on my fridge. Um, so this is also another Sanex character like um, Rila Kuma is. Um, so again, they were $1.99, so I just picked those up. All right, now, see, I keep saying art-related stuff to not get into it. Um, I picked up these silicone coasters. Um, I like to keep a coaster on my desk for my tea. And again, these are $1.99, so I just picked up this set um, so I can keep them on my desk. Um, I do have some old coasters that I use, but the material, like, it moves around a lot. Matter of fact, here's one. I have these, and... The material slides a lot, so a lot of times they fall on the floor, and I'm hoping that the silicone will uh, grip it so that they don't move around. And that should be all of the home-related stuff. Um, so now we're going to go on to um, these cutters that I bought. So in Daiso's baking section... I picked up these cookie cutters because I plan on using them with clay. Um, so, like I said, I bought the air dry clay and then I was like, mm. I got some regular cutters, but I would like some cutters with some shapes. Um, so, I just decided to look for some cookie cutters because um, I want to kind of make pens. So, um, you have these ones that have word clouds. You have your little bread, teacup and milk bottle here. Um, then I also picked up this one that has like the stained glass effect so that you get the heart in the middle and the star in the middle of the jar. So these are all from the baking section, not the art section of Daiso. Then from the baking se section, I picked up this little heart candy mold for $1.99, but I'm going to use it to make little heart shapes. I was figuring they could either be earrings or they could be embeds for larger resin projects. Um, so that's why I picked them up. Um, my only concern is they're pretty deep. So I'm just wondering how they're gonna unmold. So I may have to play with this a little bit to see if it works well with resin. So that's that. Then I picked up this other candy mold um, that had cats and paw prints. This one was a little bit more money. I believe it was $3.50. But that's still not a bad price to pay for molds. Um, you can see the cats have different facial expressions. And I thought this would be cute to make pens with. Or pendants. So that's that. And then I picked up this donut. Um silicone mold from the baking section um i was going back and forth about this like how am i going to use it is it going to be like paperweights or pendants or pens um because it's pretty big it's a pretty big size hole because this is for baking not crafting um so i have to think about that but it was a dollar 99 um Actually, no, it might have been a little bit more. I see this one has a price on it. Um, again, I have to look up what that conversion is, and I'll put the price in here. Um, but I thought for the price, it was worth it. Um, so these go in microwave, oven, dishwasher. Dishwasher's good. Um, so that was... Um, the last of things I picked up from the baking section for use in my crafts. Then we went over to the craft section and I picked up some Disney Princess paper. So there's 30 sheets with five designs in here. So you're seeing Belle, you're seeing um, Jasmine, what's her name, Aurora, um, Ariel, and Snow White. Um, I'm not really a big Disney person, but they had a lot of Disney themed things at Daiso. So if you're into Disney, um, you'll definitely see a lot of Disney themed 
things. The only other Disney related thing I picked up um, were these poo stickers because I liked I liked the raised stickers. So I picked up these poo stickers. And then the other stickers I picked up were just um, Daiso's regular brand. So I got these junk food stickers because I liked the neon colors. I thought that was different from what you normally see in food stickers. And then I picked up these Queen's Tea Party stickers. So those are the only stickers I picked up. And then the last two items from Daiso, I picked up some shrink wrap, I mean shrink, um, shrinky dink paper, I guess that's the best way for me to say it. Um, so there's three postcard sized uh, pieces of paper in here. Um, these are inkjet um, shrinky dink paper. And part of the reason, that was part of the reason I picked it up because I have regular shrinky dink paper, but I didn't have any that go in the printer. So I said for $1.99, I could try it out and kind of see how it works. So that I got from Daiso. And then the last thing I got from Daiso was this clay mold. Um, again, the other molds I showed you were from the baking section, but this is actually from the arts and crafts section where you can make little biscuit cookies and little um, chocolate bars. So I thought that would be cute to have and kind of play with to make little pendants and pens. So that's everything I got from Daiso. So let me clean up a bit and I'll tell you what I got from Artbox. So as I mentioned, we went to um, Daiso and Little Fairy, Little Fairy, New Jersey, which is... Um, also has an H Mart in the same little shopping mall. H Mart is a Korean grocery store, um, but like grocery market, I guess you would say. Um, so at the front of the H Mart store, they have a store called Art Box, which is like stationery and gifts. So I went in there and grabbed just a couple of things. Um, I will say with both H Mart and Daiso, um, they can be a little overwhelming on your first visit because. Um, you know, you're like not sure what to buy. Um, so you can kind of go crazy if you're not careful when I was really trying to stay under a certain budget, which I did. Um, so I would just say kind of keep that in mind. Like, don't go crazy. You could always come back. So um, the things I got from Artbox. Um, so the first thing I got was this rotating pillowcase. Um, you know, I'm at that age where I need to take a series of vitamins and an allergy pill every morning. And um, I thought it would be good to kind of get a little pill case. I mean, I'm not that old, but you know, I just need to take the stuff. So why not do it cute? Let's just make it cute. So I picked up this little pill case. Um, then I picked up this magnet set um, to go on my fridge. And I will put the prices in again. Um, Artbox has um, the prices in yen for some reason. Um, so there was a conversion chart. No, it wasn't in yen. I'm trying to remember. It was not in yen. Um, but they had a conversion chart on the wall. And again, I didn't get a picture of the conversion chart. So kind of keep that in mind if you go to Artbox. Um, so I got these magnets. Um, I got this mug to match, well, actually the, I got the mug first and then I got the magnets to match the mug. Um, and I've been collecting different mugs to keep my pens and pencils on my desk. So I thought she was cute. So I picked her up and I think she was only like three fifty, four fifty, dollars a decent price. Um, so, um, that's her. Um, then I also picked up some, um, reflective stickers with that same character. I think it's supposed to be a poodle dog. I'm not sure. I think it's a poodle dog. I don't think it's a lamb. I'm going to have to look her up. Um, so, um, I picked that up. Then 
I got this little journal. Um, again, not very expensive. Um, I got, there were three different versions. I got this one because it reminded me of when I was a little girl with pigtails and little barrettes in my hair. It's a simple little journal and I have way too many journals, journals so I didn't really need that one. And then I got a couple of stickers here from my deco mate. And I actually have some stickers that look like these that I bought in Dollar General years ago. Um, so when I saw these, I was instantly reminded of the ones from Dollar General. And then the last couple of things I got from Artbox were just some paper clips, some shape paper clips and some binder clips. So you have your ice cream cones your jewels and your kitty cat binder clips. Um, so that is all I got from Artbox. Uh, so just a quick pop in to say, I didn't buy this mug. My mother actually gave me this little gift set where it was a mug that said Plant Mom and a little journal book. Let me see if I can find it real quick. And this little journal book. Um, so I already have a really big mug that I got from Marshalls. That's a Halloween theme mug. So I didn't really have a use for using it as a mug. So I decided to put my gel pens from Five Below in it. Um, so like I said, I use mugs to kind of organize my things on my desk so i have my old college mug holding those water brush pens and then i have another mug that holds my cutting supplies but that's kind of how i'm utilizing um the extra mugs that i have around the house that i don't drink out of so i just utilize them this way so continuing on with my September haul, um, the Planner Society was having a dollar sale. So I picked up a whole bunch of um, washi tape. Um, so let's try to look at them here. I'm trying to organize in some kind of way. So I think the Planner Society was originally called the Scarlet Lime. Or maybe it's called both I don't remember but I know I've been getting emails from them for a long time and this is actually the first time I've ever placed an order with them um, so like I said all of their washi not all of their but a, a good amount of their washies were a um, dollar each so I just picked up different prints hopefully you can see that um, some of them are pretty basic you know, you have your little chevron there. You have your penmanship one there. It says hello right there. Let's see. What does that say? Favorite. So you have your little plaid. Some more plaid. Let's see what else we have here some more plaid um, and then we just have different patterns here there's some anchors there some floral patterns here like I said since they were a dollar I just kind of grabbed a bunch of them here's some gold foil flamingos oh a dark floral print so I use washi in different ways I can use them in mixed media I can use them um, when I'm hanging up art prints which I've done with a couple of um, art prints on my wall um, I use them in card making we have is that a unicorn I don't know is that a unicorn I think it is um, we have some dates here. You can also just use them in crafting like you would use masking tape. 
Um, if you want to mask out an area, you can use them for that. Um, so like if you're stamping or painting, um, you can use them in that way too. I think that's a mermaid there. Um, so they have a lot of uses. I, I have a lot of washi tape. I always forget how much I have until I actually am putting new ones away. And then I'm like, oh, I have way too much washi. And then I wind up buying more because this isn't the only washi I purchased this month. So all together, <laughs> how many did I purchase? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16. This is 16 rolls of washi tape. Um, so that is everything I got from the Planner Society. some items I picked up from Kauai Pen Shop. Um, I've been getting their emails for years, but this is the first time I placed an order from them. So they had a whole bunch of washi tape on sale and stickers. I tried to stay around $35. Um, I don't think, I think I might have, no, did I have free shipping? I might have free shipping. Um, I'll put the prices of everything I paid in here. Um, if I don't put them in here, I'll put them in the description. So the first thing I got were these Nikoni original stickers. They're little plant stickers. So I got that. Um, and even though this is a foil background, the stickers aren't foil. So, and then I just bought a bunch of different style of stickers the thing i was trying to figure out with kawaii pin shop is are these more like 
AliExpress stickers or are these um, stickers that they make themselves? Um, I tried to pick up some things that were limited edition. I think their stickers are a combination of both. I think there are things that you probably could find at AliExpress and then I, I think there are things that they have specially made for their shop. Um, so I'll stick some swatches in here because I think they're really hard to see in this plastic. Yeah, like a lot of them say clear tape. Then there's a bunch of them with the label BGM. And these are all BGMs. And then this says Mind Wave. This says Mind Wave. Um, so, yeah, I think they're all Mind Wave. Da -da -da -da. Um, these are not, these both four say Mind Wave. So let me swatch these out for you so you can see what they look like. picked up from Amazon as far as books go I was gonna order some more books but then I decided it was so late in the month of September I would just wait for the items um, I had in my cart especially because they weren't really autumn or Halloween themed um, so the first thing I picked up here put that light on um, is the art of colorings um, hocus pocus coloring book um, Hocus Pocus came out. I was an adult. I have watched it several times since I have, you know, a child. I mean, she's 20 now, but I've seen it plenty of times with her. Um, but this was on a good deal. I do like the art style here. I looked at a couple of other art and art of coloring books. Um, the prices kind of fluctuate. I think the only other one I may pick up is the one that's kind of focused on villains. But I picked this one up because I think it was like $11 when I purchased it. But you know, I'll put the price I paid in here somewhere. So the next couple items are just kind of autumn or spooky season inspired. I know I said with my art supplies, I don't buy a lot of things thematic, but coloring books, I just kind of went in a different direction. So the first thing I have is Sweet Autumn from Morgana Sky. Um, so a lot of animal pictures, maybe a little bit more animals than I expected, but um, that is Sweet Autumn. 
then I got zombie foods by Primrose um, I think I bought another food book from Primrose um, Kauai foods um, the style is very simplistic so these are like things you can color really quickly you don't have to have um, a lot of different colors to kind of complete them you get duplicate pages um, but I thought this could be a quick book to kind of work with I think that is Primrose's style I might be wrong but so far the two books I got from Primrose were a little simplistic next we have creepy girl from coloring book cafe um, I wasn't sure what to expect because um, I hadn't ordered anything from coloring book cafe before um, but the designs are nice um, they seem to be one consistent illustrator throughout um, my daughter actually asked me to pick this one up for her too um, I should also mention I think all of the coloring books that I bought that were um, seasonal were like $3.99 I was trying to stay on a budget um, so this is the creepy girl book I'm gonna shift through these a little bit these are a little out of order um, and then Ava Brown was having a sale on all of their autumn themed books um, so they were $3.99 so I picked up um, Country Autumn so again just some seasonal themes of autumn and fall they have duplicate pages And I'll try to get these flip throughs up sooner rather than later since they are fall themed. We have Secret Village Halloween. And the Secret Village books have like little mouse characters. And we have Autumn Scenes. So again, not necessarily Halloween. There's some Halloween-ish stuff, but there's also a lot of things that are just different fall themed things like pumpkins and gourds and apples. So these last four books I've been eyeing for a while. Um, these are the coloring books by AC Washington. She's a vet who decided to make um, coloring books um, with black characters and you know with the recent uproar online about you know our black mermaid um, Haley ba um, Bailey playing um, Ariel I thought it was time that I bought the black mermaids but because black girls can be mermaids too um, so we have black mermaids and there's three different illustrators so some of the design may vary throughout the book so some of the designs I like more than others so that's black mermaids then we have black angels I think there's four illustrators in this book And I'll do some flip throughs at some point. I'm so behind with flip throughs. I have all the videos done. I just need to upload them. We have Black Fairies because I think that was another conspiracy online about the, uh, what is the Game of Thrones prequel? Um, having black characters, black actors. So we have Black Fairies. Yes, black people do fantasy also. And then finally, we have Black Dancers. 
um, oops. So these books were a little bit more expensive. I think they were $10 each. Um, do I think $10 is reasonable? No, I think these could have, been, could have been priced a little bit lower. And I think they're priced more for the fact that there aren't a lot of um, black specific coloring books versus like the quality of the books. Um, but I do like them. These are the only um, books AC Washington has published so far in her coloring book series. I think she also has a fiction book for kids. Um, but I signed up to her mailing list to see if um, any other books come out anytime soon. I will say the illustration I like the most are the ones that are made by this illustrator. I really like the way the faces are done and the hair is done. Um, but I thought, you know, let me support Black Mermaids. So um, that's everything I got from Amazon in September. Just curious, are you guys picking up any special things to craft with or color in for the season? All right, continuing on with my September haul. Um, I picked up a couple of items from um, I feel like it's a book missing. No, it's a book missing. from Book Outlet. They were having buy two get one free, so I just got six books. So the first book I got is Ten Step Drawing Animals. Um, so if you see my other hauls, I have the one for nature and the one for flowers. So I figured I would just pick up another book in the series. So there we've got 10 Step Drawing Animals. Then we've got 100 Things to Draw with a Circle. This book was not what I expected it to be. When it came in the mail yesterday, I was very disappointed because I thought this was kind of like um, showing you different things you could draw with circles. And that's not what it is. It's a prompt book. Um, and what I mean by that is they're just pages with circles on them and you kind of draw around them. Um, this is not what I was looking for. Um, even if it was something I was looking for, the color scheme is very dull. Um, you're supposed to kind of use this book for doodle inspiration. Um, yeah, this wasn't what I was thinking it was. And I, I, I'm going to put that on me. It says, it, you know, I saw 100 shape, 100 doodles. It was like, oh, it's going to be like, here's some doodling things you could do with circles. And then I didn't see where it says start with the shape and doodle what you see. So it's kind of like, yeah. Um, I've picked up books like this before by mistake. Um, and I think that I didn't even bother to try to go look at a flip through of this. Um, so this is going to go on a giveaway pile, but I want to show it to you guys since I did pick it up. The rest of the books are coloring books. Um, so the first book I have here is A Million Kawaii Cuties um, by Lulu Mayo. I have a couple of Lulu Mayo's books. I think I have about four of them. I think I have cats, mermaids, cute animals. And I, I can't remember what the other ones was. It was cats. I said cats. Um, but I didn't have this one. And I feel like this one is relatively new. Um, so I picked this up from Book Outlet. I feel like, yeah, is this the one that just came out? Let me double check. When is this published? Yeah, this is 2022. So this is a relatively new one. Um, I'll put the price that I paid for this because I definitely did not pay full price. Walmart's price was $10. Yeah, these normally go for $10. I, I definitely did not pay $10. So I'll put the price that I paid for this. Next, we have Color 100 Happy Passages. Um, so I have a couple of books from, I think I have 
maybe one or two books from Thunder Bay Press. Um, so I just wanted to pick up another one. These are just different patterns to color um, with different phrases. I usually don't love everything in these books. I usually find a couple patterns that I like and then kind of pass them on. So that's that for Color 100, Happy Passages. Then we have um, Be Grateful in Color. I've seen this book at Barnes & Noble in their little, what is it called? It's not Red Dot, that's Target. It used to be called like the clearance section, but they call it something special now. I don't remember offhand, but um, I've seen these in Barnes & Noble also. Um, so you have your different scenes with patterns. These are also very pattern heavy. You'll have different style mandalas if that's your thing. Um, so if you're really into patterns, you may like these. I picked it up, like I said, because I kept seeing them. And since they were a good price, I decided to pick up Be Grateful in Color. And then we have Be Stress Free in Color. So again, there's a lot of pattern play. Get your mandalas in there. And I've seen them in Barnes & Noble, so I just figured I would pick them up this month. So that is everything from Book Outlet. Um, and then um, I was waiting for something from Hipsticks, and I think that will finish me out for September's haul. So hold on. So I had hoped to close out this month's video with um, an order from Pip6. They were having um, a sale on a couple of sticker sheets. And I placed my order mid-September, but I still haven't received it. Um, so this is now the beginning of October. So hopefully it'll come in sometime in October and I'll include it in my October haul. But for now, I'm just gonna close out this video. And again, thank you for spending time with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.